Hello gainers, Ralphie here with some fitter philosophy on location on a sunny day and usually it's really quite windy around here because it's an exposed coastal area it's the point of air in the Isle of Man and just up north there, heading north you can see the coast of southern Scotland which is originally where I'm from but of course, much more important than where we're from is, gainers, where we're at. And uh, occasionally in these walking talks, because I've started walking now and I'm still talking now, uh, I'm going to be covering uh, various topics of self-awareness, not from a, a, a vanity perspective, but of a practical philosophical perspective so that we all have greater awareness of ourselves um, not so much aesthetically ourselves or appearance and more superficial things but the, the real substance of ourselves uh, and one of the things that's worth talking about is the habit of humans to put others down now there's a purpose for this and that is to through consequences to elevate oneself through a negativity but I'm going to suggest that if you have occasion where people are putting you down and it's not objective because we all know there is a significant difference between objective put downs for our own good and our own safety excuse me it's not lens that's better so you can see the lighthouse again it's a very attractive feature it's a lovely lighthouse always looks good in the sunshine and uh, where was I put it when others put us down we, we must be clear that people may criticize us but for good reason call it tough love it's for our own good and it's important that we we learn from other people's observations perspectives and experience um, in what they communicate to us in say a reprimand or a slagging off or a knock back or um, basically a put down that they can serve an objective purpose to help us more accurately see ourselves but I'm talking about the negative stuff and it's very very simple over time to spot the difference between a negative reaction from people around us and a positive reaction which a positive reaction can seem negative but in fact if it's delivered sympathetically you know it, it's it's genuine if it's genuine and we can spot it then it's good um, because it is it's a form of uh, reverse care but um, the the cynical put down you'll always find it accompanied by negativity and you'll rarely find it as a one-off particularly from people we know and it's something to be very much aware of in the workplace and in relationships personal relationships when you have that drip feeding over time on a regular basis of negative put downs which are humorless they're not intended to be fun they're not intended to be complimentary they're not intended to be um, supportive in any way they're genuine um, trolling behavior personal trolling then we've got to observe the toxicity of that and the growth of that within ourselves and how it affects us um, and I notice it particularly people have been in um, relationships for a long time you can get the the sniping and the niggling but it repairs itself if the relationship is positive but you'll always know when a relationship is not positive when putting people down is is much more purposeful and systematic because you can feel the tension that's created and you can always sense the defeat um, in the victim who hasn't been able to respond address or walk away from the situation over time and in a sense we all need to be like lighthouses <laughs> says me carefully positioning the lighthouse in the background again making sure it's there um, let's focus a bit on it there we go we all need to be a little bit like lighthouses we need to have strong defenses around us 
to protect ourselves from the elements of life and yet at the same time there must be a purpose for it it must be objective we, we can't just simply build walls to create barriers um, we must all have walls in around our, our, our person simply as a form of practical defence for coping with the reality of the wider world but like a lighthouse when you get to the top of it its true purpose is revealed it's a, a beacon a warning something positive to shipping in dark nights and stormy gales when visibility is poor and the rocks of disaster are never far away it's a lighthouse with strong walls and resolute purpose which will let its light shine to warn of danger to the shipping out in the seas around it and so the purpose of these walls of the purpose of a lighthouse it's not so much aesthetic although it looks very pleasing to the eye it's very purposeful it has a singular purpose and so long as we have in knowledge of ourselves purpose in life it will help us justify and quantify the walls we build to protect ourselves and defend ourselves from put downs not just from people but from the greater society from the wider human community because no one screws over human beings as much as other human beings there are exceptions of course some gods are particularly cruel and spiteful and venomous but that's a conversation gainers for another day i'm ralphie sharing the sunshine sharing the location and i hope you've enjoyed this little walk-in talk and its philosophy leave you with a good view now for just a few seconds more <laughs>